So even though the weather outside is just so lovely and a perfect winter wonderland, we're not gonna learn any holiday songs today. <laughs> today we're gonna do some straight up rock and roll from 1964. We're gonna learn Chuck Berry's You Never Can Tell. We're gonna learn the chords and the strum. It's only two chords in the whole tune, but we're gonna decorate them with different kinds of boogie woogie strums. And then we're also gonna learn the whole piano solo, the honky tonk solo that's in the middle of the tune. There's a free tab for this sheet of music is right here on my website store. Just go to stewfuchs.com slash store. It's up there on the right where it says free tabs and goodies. So please download that tab. Come back here. We'll get started. Let's, 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 let's jam. So real quick, I just got to say a big thank you to anyone who came out to any of my 15 ukulele workshops or concerts across the West Coast. Huge thank you. I had so much fun with you. Today's lesson is going to be a review of one of the tunes we learned in the classes. We're also going to be going over briefly some of the principles of how to practice in the Zen way. Oh, and by the way, the poultry that was given to me in Portland, Oregon is safe and sound. Rob, I'm gonna get this back to you, I promise. The three angles we're gonna learn this song from are the strum, the structure, and the melodic solo. Remember, your homework is always to go and listen to the original recording. There's a link in the video description below so you can enjoy the original recording. Remember to listen deeply. Most of the learning happens when you're listening. Okay, so hopefully by now you have the song sheet and the tab. Let's get started with learning the strum. The tempo of this song is roughly 160. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Practice counting and snapping on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or slapping on two and four. One, two, three, four. Now in other videos, we've already gone over boogie woogie strums and backbeat accents. So let's just do this very quickly here. Play with the metronome. One, two, here I go. For a G major chord, we play this. You're making sure that you're whipping the strings a little bit harder on beats two and four. One and two and three and four and... Notice how those are the beats where the finger is dropped onto the chord. One, two, three, four. Later in this video when I play the song, you're going to notice that I keep it simple with just two notes while I'm singing, and in the spaces in between words, I'm going to be adding a bunch of different variations. These are kind of improvisational, so please play with your own. Here are a couple of variations to the boogie woogie strum that you can try out. The first variation is using the three note boogie line and alternating the open string. Again, it's... You would put that in the context of the strum like this. Hope you got that free tab to work with. At the very top of it, what I'm trying to do is train you to count bars instead of only relying on lyrics and the chords changing above certain words. We're trying to internalize the structure of the song, and to do that, you have to count. Try this out. At the top of the page, every one of those boxes has four beats in it. Let's do this slowly at first. Tap your foot, and your job is gonna to be to see a bouncing ball going across each box. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Ready, play with me, and one, two, three. Box two, box three, box four, Box five, box six, here comes G. Next line. Box three, box four, five, six, back to C. For those of you who are new to tablature, remember the line on the top of the tablature is the string on the bottom. The numbers are the frets. They're not necessarily the numbers of the fingers, one, two, three, four, but many times they are, especially in the open position. 
when you're picking these notes, use your thumb. Oh, I lost my thumb. The only casualty on tour is I lost my thumb now. Make sure you're rest stroking to get the maximum sound so you can really rock it out. You can, of course, use a pick as well if you like. Here is the riff all the way through. I'll play it slowly. One, two, one, two, three. We'll do a play along through the whole song. Oh wait, there is an introduction. Very quick, really cool, classic Chuck Berry kind of riff. That's at the very beginning of the song. I'll do that quickly. I mean slowly. All right, I'm gonna play the intro. You're gonna notice how I'm gonna strum a little more fancy when I'm not singing. Join in and sing along. Let's have some fun. One, two, one, two, three, four. Well, it was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished them well. You could see that Pierre did truly love his mademoiselle. And now the young monsieur and madame have rung the chapel bell. C'est la vie, said the old folks, it goes to show you never can tell. They furnished off an apartment with a two-room Roebuck sale. The cooler radar was crammed with TV dinners and ginger ale. But when Pierre found work, the little money come to work out well. C'est la vie, said the old folks, it goes to show you never can tell. Well, they had a high five phone, oh boy, did they let it blast. 700 little records on rock, rhythm and jazz. But when the sun went down, the rapid music of the temple fell. C'est la vie, said the old folks, it goes to show you never can tell. One more, they bought a souped up jib, and it was a cherry red 53. When the Duke of Orleans celebrated their anniversary It was there that Pierre was wedded to the lovely Mademoiselle <laughs> Then la vie said the old folk It goes to show you never can tell Strummer solo, here we go! Something like that. Thanks for jamming along with me. Hope you had a good time with this lesson. Little different structure. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you dug this video, hope you'll give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and please hit that subscribe button. It really is almost as satisfying as clicking skip ad. Thanks for watching Ukulele Zen. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.